guys in the fast lane here. Today we're going to do a fun video. We're going to be port and polishing out a top mount turbo manifold. Um, I just purchased one probably a couple weeks ago and I've already ground down the inside where some of the casting is but uh, now we're going to polish it up really good. And what I'm using here is a flex hone. It's made by BRM. It is inch and three eighths and if, that, if you guys are wondering what size the exhaust manifold is, that's usually what it is. Uh, same with the intake manifold, it's going to be, you're going to need an inch and three eighths home. Uh, this is a 180 grit and this is an 80 grit. For those that don't know, the lower the number, the more abrasive. So the 80 grit is going to be the first job and then we're, to polish it up make it real smooth, we're going to use the 180 grit. Here's a closer visual for you guys. These parts are actually made in USA, which is kind of rare. So if you guys are wondering. Um, they run about under $20. I think they're about almost 19 bucks shipped on eBay or Amazon. Most people go with a 60 grit. I couldn't find one. That's a little bit more abrasive. But uh, that's the finish they kind of leave on the heads for the intake side because of the fuel mixture. But we're dealing with an exhaust right now, so we don't got to worry about it. We want that thing as baby smooth as possible. Also, we're not actually porting the head, so it doesn't matter how smooth the exhaust is. Now, for the intake manifold, same thing. It, we're not actually porting the chambers in the head where the valves are so that's not going to interfere with the fuel mixture it pretty much just shoots out of the edge where the intake manifold flanges so it, it doesn't really spray inside the intake I'm sure a little bit probably gets in there at the at the tip but that's not really going to interfere with it because it's already a certain grit inside the head as far as length goes I know that was a big concern with me because I needed to get it as far down the runner as I could possibly get it these are eight inches exactly on both of them so I'm gonna measure up the runner we'll see I think we have plenty enough I'm just gonna grip it at the very tip try not to use as much as that shaft as possible here's what we got right now we just got like a light grind with a little bit of hand sandpaper it's pretty smooth but we're gonna be able to really smooth this out it's gonna look great and it's gonna flow quite a bit better it's gonna take a drill and I'm going to hook this up to it and get it as far down the shaft as I can so I got enough space to get it in that runner. I'm going to go with the 80 since it's more abrasive. So this will pretty much do more porting than polishing. Here's the cones right here. You can see them. They're, uh, they're really abrasive so it's, it's going to do some nice cutting. Be careful. You don't want to go so fast on the start because you can break them off so as you get it in here you want to kind of push and just turn a little bit and like always wear some safety goggles please a long time ago I uh, was using a steel wire brush and it shot up and shot right in my eye and I had to pull it out of my eye and had to go to the eye doctor and come to find out I almost lost my eye oh. because it almost punctured where the liquid is in the cornea. I forget what they call that. I'm not an eye doctor, but uh, yeah, you can, you'll have nothing but dryness. Your eye will change color because you lose the clear liquid. So if it's a green eye like mine, it'll turn maybe a darker green and you'll have a lighter green eye. So wear some goggles. Here we go. So I'm gonna give it a little push. That's pretty cool. You guys see that? I can get it all the way up to the exhaust manifold runner. Wow, that's cool. So, I don't know if it's doing more damage to the actual uh, home or the manifold. I'm seeing a lot of home, but... I'll tell you what though, it's really smoothing it out. This is an 80 grit, 
And man, it's uh, it's getting pretty smooth. This thing's gonna flow like ridiculous. This is pretty much cutting out like 15 man hours just doing it like this. So all for like 40 bucks. Well, here's a little problem. If you start wiggling a little bit too much, you will snap the wire. Now, pretty surprised that I actually snapped the wire. I wasn't really pushing too hard on it, but that'll happen. So be careful with the up and down and the sideways bends, but oh well. Now some of like the pits right here, I'll take a file and I'll just stick it in there. And on the side of the file, it has more grooves where it can carve out and file. And I'll just go like that and get the chunks out of there and then I'll hit it back with the hone. Here's a decent shot. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer, but you can see how it's starting to really polish it out, smooth it out. There's no burrs and uh, the air is gonna flow really smoothly in there. Now keep in mind, this is cast iron and it's shining like uh, cast aluminum, so you can, you can really see the difference. Here's a close up and it's just, it's really smooth. And this is 80 grit. I'm gonna drop it down to 180 so it'll be even finer. And now I'm gonna smooth out the casting by coming in here and going all the way around it and trying to V off it, coming through the back, back here where the uh, wastegate is and just all around smooth everything out. So you guys pretty much get the idea. I'm running out of time today. We got a lot of errands I gotta run, but uh, just go ahead and port it out with the 80 grit and then swap out to the 180 grit and give it a nice finish. Just make sure you get in here and try to get all the rough casting out and it should be nice and smooth and you should gain a little bit of flow. I don't see why you couldn't. Uh, with the casting, it will slow your flow down. There's just no way around it. Kind of like a golf ball when they had drag. I was uh, doing a little research and they normal golf ball has 400 uh, little rivets in it. I don't know what they exactly call it, uh, but they've tested it with a thousand and eight hundred, and they drove it as hard as they could, and it would go really far, but it wouldn't go nowhere near as far as the four hundred. And then they did, I think, a hundred, and for some reason that didn't go as far as the four hundred. So there was like a happy medium, and that's kind of like what we're doing here. We're getting rid of all these castings, which is like a thousand. Uh, of those little ripples which doesn't allow the ball to go as far, doesn't allow the air to flow as fast and we're, we're polishing them down to a certain grit like we're going to use 180 and it, it should flow really nice. Now there's no reason why you couldn't polish it down to 600 grit. I mean the smoother the better for exhaust.